How you doing, Trader Joe's? Uh, FedEx came today. This is the day after I made that other video. And they dropped off the, uh, the wheels. So you can see the size of them compared to Charlie. And, um, so here's the skid. Uh, two of the tires were need air. So I got this. I always have this in my car. It's from Peak. Um, it's a uh, jump starter, but it also has a air compressor built into it. So if you ever get a flat, it's good to have. Plus, you can jump start your car. Good to have in the car, you know, just once in a while, every couple of months, you got to charge it up. Uh, I got a cordless drill. Um, I got a bunch of bolts and some uh, lock washers. Let me just see if I get this thing to focus on. Um, I got a couple of drill bits, a wrench for the nuts, because these uh, from Home Depot, they had like a bolt and nuts together, but the uh, the end of the uh, screw here has got a, it's either a Phillips head or a flathead, so I got both in a screwdriver there, so I got these. So these ones can, can turn, so I'm going to just find a place I can bolt these through, screw them through the uh, the wood there. I just gotta figure out which side I'm gonna do it on. But uh, the ones that are fixed, what I wanna do is I wanna make sure that the uh, air valve is on the outside. See this one doesn't have the air valve on it on the outside? Because I wanna I wanna be able to um, fill it up, you know, easily. So if it's on the outside, I can fill it up. So when I do that, I'm gonna put that on. But that'll be the height of it. So let's say compared to something like this. So it'll be like um, about two feet off the ground, the whole uh, platform dolly. All right. And I'm going to overbuild this thing because it's, it's going to be out in the elements. And it, I thought about painting it, but I don't know. I think this skid, I found it outside anyway. So I think it'll be all right in the elements for a while. But worst comes to worst, I'll, I'll paint it with some weather resistant kind of wooden paint. Plus they're cheap enough, they're, I mean they're free anyway if you find them in the garbage. So that'll be that. I'll come back on in a minute. Plus I have the, um, I'm going to be using the the lutrating gloves so I don't mess up my hands. And um, I'll be using the uh, thicker uh, tie to hold the uh, iPhone up if I need it. Alright, so now I don't need any kind of extension cord, nothing because the uh, air compressor is battery powered as, as, as is the drill. The rest is just a matter of drilling holes through the wood. And um, my only concern is if the, um, if the holes will be enough through that wood that it, it'll give it enough bite. All right, and the bolts are oversized anyway, so I mean uh, lengthwise to go through that wood. All right, I'll come back on in a minute. Oh, cool! It's got a, uh, it's got a uh, grease fitting on it, and they're loaded with grease. It looks like there's another one here. You can see the grease coming out. All right, so I'm gonna fill these up with air, and then I'm gonna uh, bolt this all together. Probably shouldn't take more than total, maybe an hour. I don't know. I don't think I'd be even that long. All right, see you in a bit. Da, 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 da. More than a day because this tire here, um, for some reason, would not hold air. So I had to go. Uh, I went to the. There, there, it turns out there was a Harbor Freight store not too far. So I went there. But that's basically how it's going to move around. Let's see if I give it a kick. Let's see. So I figure this will be good. Each wheel can hold 300 and some odd pounds. So probably the total thing. <laughs> He's mad because he wants me, he wants to play. So I'm gonna at some point I'm gonna make like a handle. But uh, this could be good. Let's see if it can hold my weight. Yep. I'm riding it. I'm riding it. I should probably stand on it. Well, this, this has the potential of being really bad. I better not. <laughs> so it's got a lot, of, a lot of ground clearance. 
these these uh, tires in the front can turn. They should put headlights on it. <laughs> but that's that. And then it can go all terrain. Let's see if I push it onto the grass. Hey, don't chase the chickens. All right, that's that. Charlie. Charlie. Give me the stick. Give me it. 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 Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let's see if I throw up by those chickens. Of course, the branch had to get in the way. Let's see. All right, back to the cart. I guess you call it Bigfoot. <laughs> See, also, like in the sometimes in the um, they they have these plants that they put up on this thing. I'll bring it over. I'll show you. These steps over here. And now, this can come right up, almost level with the steps. And if I have a bunch of heavy shit up there, it's a pretty easy transition. All right, so that's that. The cart is done. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Another thing, if you had it near your car, and your car trunk wouldn't be too hard to get heavy stuff in and out of it. All right, have a good day. We're out uh, walking the dogs here, and I see this tree, right? And I noticed this piece of the tree is growing from this side up to this side. I've never seen a tree do that before. Let me see if I can get a better shot of this. growing from this trunk up and merging into this trunk. Very strange to me.